I haven't really been keeping up much with RoboCop Rogue City at all. There was a trailer that seemed initially interesting. They made a Terminator game that a lot of people said was pretty good. Let's just fire it up and see what the hell it's like. Too many games, dude. There's just so much stuff. Uh, yeah, auto detect my video settings. Let's rock and roll. We're off to a good start. <laughs> We're obviously off to a good start already. Uh, window full screen. Uh, FOV, I guess we'll change it to a little bit higher than usual. It only goes up to 100. Uh, I'll put it at 85 and then we'll check it out. DLSS, uh, I'll just let you guys let me know. Epic. Damn, a piano theme of the Robocop theme. Wow. Chromatic aberration. Sorry. Uh, unlimited frame rate. I guess that just attaches to whatever my monitor is, right? I'm assuming so. We'll see how bad motion blur is. We will see how bad that is. Unlimited frame rate. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. I, I, I really don't know much other than it's a first person shooter. So uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, give me normal for now. I want to know what I'm getting into. How many dudes am I going to be shooting in the dick? You give us three minutes and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer. And that cancer is crime. It must be technically the same guy. CP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a. a, a Welcome disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move. This is normal. That's a normal haircut as well. Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you. Winners do that the trucks. Torch heads are open for business. <laughs> you may have heard of us as the number one supplier of nuke in old Detroit. The most potent addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. <laughs> but that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. <laughs> I don't think Nuke was in RoboCop Ooh, 1. Get officer. Officer it was a Howard big part of RoboCop 2, obviously. Point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust Welcome that cost us a lot of money. Of we want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of Nuke. <laughs> He's like, you're going to have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> New guy. Us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing. It makes you take a really murder. deep nap. <laughs> he just passes all. out. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. He died that day. Welcome back. 
on that day. He died. at the main entrance to the TV station. Welcome back to the stage Dang, man, I feel like they could have done a crazy intro to that, right? I feel like that could have had this insane buildup where they were going to, like, shoot the hostages live. Yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. Yeah, I get the same feeling, man. And, like, right as they're about to, like, off, like, all of the hostages, the goddamn door kicks in. Like, oh, damn, the intro. Holy shit. Maybe in the actual game release, you know, maybe. The ground shaking. Judgment day is here. Do we have any uh no crazy screen tearing? I am a robot cop. I can kind of run. Okay. Yeah, this is just a demo, so they might be taking from a different spot of the game too. Uh, it's a bit framey, you know? Let me try something. Hang on a second. Let me try something. I am getting picky. Let's take this off of Unlimitedo and put it to Limitedo. Why'd it get darker? Huh? The game just stutters bad? Ah, okay. Maybe it's optimized for console. I wouldn't bother. I already ran the plates. You should know by now when it comes to evidence, we're hoarders. This seems worse. Uh, let me go back. This seems worse. Huh, how oh, funny. Seems to up the brightness. Devs uh, tweeted they're aware of the stuttering and they're working to fix it. No, that's great. I wonder if it's a shader compiling thing. It very well could be. We can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But sir. Roger that. I'm just gonna wait what here. Is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on <laughs> up there? Sorry, dude. The police want us to release the hostages. I, oh, so no hard feelings. <laughs> what the hey, fuck? you you can't go in yet. We need to wait for the reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. Why punch him? Find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me, but you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. Yeah, it seems like always a challenging thing with a RoboCop game. To make a game out of a slow moving tank man. I'm curious how they do it. Huh? He looks kind of familiar. What? Say that again. Guys, guys, we've got company. Anyone expecting a silver freak? 
Drop it, scum. Worried about the weight limit? Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. Yeah, I think I'll actually boost out the uh sabotage the elevators and staircase. I think I'll too. bump out the Obviously FOV even more. We're at like 85 right now, and it goes all the way up to a hundred. So let's do this. Where'd it go? God. Menu. Uh where'd it go? Wait a minute. Am I drunk? Upscaling. View distance. Was it near the top? Oh, it is near the top. Duh. 90. Let's try that. Damn. Still not that much. Okay, well, 95. I'm thinking the maximum FOV, probably the best bet. Yeah, and it, dude, it really doesn't change that much. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots are still here. So that was a that was a healing thingamajig. Uh Robo Punch! That's shoot. Uh do we have like a quick turn? Back B? Uh hang on a second. There's gotta be a quick turn. I cannot slowly turn around. Uh controls ah crap. Uh Yeah, I guess not. Any more tricks up your sleeve? I will keep them coming. What a warm welcome, don't you think? Oh, da damn, boy, damn. Wow. Okay. I am a robot cop, Winrar. Uh, war me. Press LT. Ah. He's made entirely of a drug. He's drugman. He's 99% nuke. Now this is the uh, PC version. Well, that's interesting. I'm like, was that guy getting shot? I gotta say, I did not expect such a big crowd. What if that's the original Murphy voice actress? Probably not. I'll realize Robocop is from a very long time ago. It is? Wow. Yeah, she still sounds, uh, you know, considering I don't even know how old she was in the original, she still sounds pretty, pretty young. That's cool. They got as many of the, I, I mean, I'm assuming, what is it, Peter Weller? 
is Robocop. He was Robocop in Mortal Kombat. Come here. Come here. your head ow damn should just get a very long punch c4 thanks for the 25 dude Robocop with an AK-47 is pretty funny. Why don't you check it out? It was a very complicated puzzle. And I solved it. You can use Robocop vision to investigate objects or people to find clues. Uh, press LT while looking at it to investigate it. Short circuit detected. I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. Bubblegum's a conductor. That's normal. So, our friends in blue finally decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Welcome back. Robocop seeing stuff. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys. The police dog and its bitch. Not sure which one is which. <laughs> You're gonna take that back. More shots of his nipples, please. We definitely need a quick turn. Wait, where's my AK-47? Crime evidence. Incriminating pictures. Grab a whole ass monitor. Release the object. Oh dear. Put that there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Robocop the monitor tosser. Damn! This thing is covering up half of my game! Kiss my ass. <laughs> please dang it dude your uh, your head is so armored oh my god
Okay. Not the CRTs. Mmm, coffee. You crazy! Mmm, prescription drugs. I need something to toss out this window. These innocent CRTs will do. Damn it, man. There's got to be like a breach situation. Yeah. You only have a few seconds to eliminate the threat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's like a Call of Duty breach. Yeah. Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages. One with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. Recovery charges at maximum. I just like the sound. Damn, howdy. All right, all right, all right. I have to do something about this. <laughs> Mouse invert sensitivity. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh... Damn, that didn't do much. Okay. Splat. Watch out, he's coming. How did that blow up? Holy God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Dang it! I was like, where's the throw button? Yeah, the sound of the bullets hitting is pretty great. And I have to bring up my old Robocop Call of Duty video. The Black Ops 2 Robocop video. And I thought I have to bring it up now. What the shit? Damn, this guy's meat shield. He's been packing on the pounds. Oh shit. Uh, I can't like pick up a ship or anything. Only a few. Holy moly! Uh, studio lights stop Robocop that day. A 
I just pressed heal and that happened. I was like, what the dumb shit? I pressed heal and this whole thing blew up. Sure thing, Mom. What do we have? It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your hands? Robocop's freaking out. Do I really have to? I wasn't playing in the dirt. Alex? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to be a police officer Wait, just God, like his dad. Don't, don't do God, it! We're causing trouble. Hey, no sudden moves, cop! I'm not dying here! Get me another one of those choppers, like the one that took soot! You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, Shiny! Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her! I swear to Nuke! I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds! Three! Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Excuse me. It will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, James. You okay there, Murphy? I am doing fine. What does it want? Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please, calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Whoa, that logo! Ah! <laughs> Ah, she has a logo! Ah! <laughs> logo tried to kill me. It was intimidating me like Robocop intimidating somebody that looks like his wife. Wow! <laughs> Get it away! <laughs> logo just kept coming forward. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective... What he was talking? Do. I don't like that we guy's all name. Saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had it. If I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. 
Mr. Becker, I I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But she's got a point. He was in Robocop 2? This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. This game is set between Robocop 2 and Robocop 3. All right, so we're not going to be running into, uh, God, what's his name? Who's the Robocop 2 villain, uh, which is actually a super sick that I love that sequence on Kane. Yeah, there's a lot of like Robocop 2 is like kind of a trashy movie. But there's a lot of like imp, like special effects imagery in that film that really stuck with me as a kid. Like the the brain and all of that shit. It's like, oh, God damn, too. Like, there's a lot of that stuff really stuck with me, even though Robocop 2 is pretty crazy. To me, it's like, if you want the better Ro place. Robocop 2, Don't hold your breath. Okay, it's actually you Predator 2. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I, I think Predator 2 is, is essentially Predator, but Robocop. It's just, it's just, uh, well, we're, we're going to take all the stuff that makes LA like the, the Detroit scenario of this hyper insane Detroit, turn it into LA. That's Predator 2. And instead of a Robocop, you have uh, the Predator instead. And I feel like they do a kind of a decent job with Predator 2 in that regard. Robocop 3 is rough. Yeah, Robocop 3 tried to really appeal towards kids. My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? I want you to be safe out there. Yeah, you I mean, guys, very fun. To, to be real, like, I don't, I don't think this hits the satirical levels that Robocop 1 and 2 kind of hit. You know? I don't, I don't think it hits that hard yet. Right? Because, man, like, Jesus, the satire of Robocop 1 and, like, Starship Troopers and all this stuff. I don't really feel like it's here yet. There's humor everywhere, you know? There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. You gotta realize this is not a big triple A game. No, it's, it's a very much a double A game. Similar to the Terminator game, which was pretty good. That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. This is gonna be like their upgrade system? Something like that? B. <laughs>
Each time you achieve a new level, you receive skill points that can be used to develop your skills. Developing skills allows you to increase efficiency, obtain unique perks, and unlock favorable dialogue options. I uh, left to open the skill screen. Oh my. Um, so where's my double jump? Stuns nearby enemies for a short time. Reloading strike. Successful punch connecting with an enemy reloads all carried weapons. We have mobility. Where's my double jump? Psychology. Uh, doubles earned public trust points. Interesting. Highlights favorable dialogue options. Lowers outcome threshold. So there's an entire, you know, dialogue tree system in here of you getting back on the, on the public side. Okay. That's cool. <clears throat> Scanning lets you more often detect helpful information. This is some uh, Bethesda shit going on in here. Let you hit enemies behind by cover by bouncing bullets off certain spots. That seems cool. Slow motion. Allows you to ram into enemies quickly, escape danger, dang. Allows you to open any safe without knowing the combination, dang. And reduce cooldown after a dash, dang. Okay, let's just go with that. Interesting stuff here. Okay. Where's the well, dick shot? You can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything what? seems to be installed. <laughs> Next time we're going to remove your hippocampus. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional Is this available trauma. to normal people? No, emotional you had to have been trauma. born in the 80s to Might play this. Well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side, your brain. You know what actually wasn't I that agree. bad? If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. Uh, 2014 think, Robocop. Would save us a lot of hassle. It took away like all the satire for the most part. So what it do you wasn't say, that officer? bad. It was like a seven. Something that could be of interest it really wasn't you? bad. I am not sure. Was it good? I mean, nowhere near as good as the old Robocop, but Robo, it was like a solid action movie. The briefing Come on, chat. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Granted, it has been since 2014 that I have seen it, and I saw it on a plane. Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Back to the stage of history. Hello? Judge Dredd remake was great. Well, I mean, yeah, that film is amazing it was crazy actually amazing Good job. robocop or judge dread i if we're talking about the i knew what judge dread was because i collected dark horse comics right um are we talking about we're talking about Perfect. new dread carl urban dread Please not sylvester stallone dread sylvester stallone dread movie was just bad It was just bad. What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This what? line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile to work. 
I think it's because they're jealous of my new job. Say no more. <laughs> and he walks so out the door. <laughs> what is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? He has a beautiful record, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell fire, fire to find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? <laughs> can you do something about my neighbors? <laughs> uh, no, but I will let you off with a warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all Detroit. Next, please. I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a one criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so... Here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but... I still get the reward, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Cops don't appreciate honesty. Take him away. <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> I like this game. Officer, no. <laughs> I would like to report my son missing. How old? Is he? <laughs> no. He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. So it's between serving the public trust or obeying the law. There's like a, there's a, there's a hidden mechanic in here. Well, that sucks. Yay! Did it! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't go down there. Uh, isolated incident. Four meters below me. Can I, like, leave? No, I cannot. Not yet. What are these lights on the wall? These green-ass lights. can't do it. There is no way. Murphy, would you give me a hand? One second. I'm going to need to find my objective. The game's loading stuff. Welcome back to the stage. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button. I will press the button. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Little off. I'm having trouble. Try to break the record. Oh my god, the arms and the legs! Oh, look at this guy! What the shit is this? I guess I have to go for headshots? Good job. <laughs> I blew yeah, off his arms, his job. legs, I'll his chest. <laughs> there was like nothing left of it. <laughs> the bullseye. Uh, let me try this again. Okay. 
Okay. Son of a bitch! Uh, it definitely has that like, right? Where you aim, and it's like, and it's like there's a rubber band, uh, like a reverse rubber band on the other side pulling you. I don't know, forget what the heck this is called, but you're like, yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 I want it. Yeah, the aim acceleration, yeah. I'm like, can we just turn this shit off? I wonder if you can, hold on a second. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's not auto aim. No, no, no. It, it's different. It's like I, I just want to go left. I want to shoot left, and it like I'm, I'm pulling at a normal speed, and then it and then it goes really fast all of a sudden. It was there was no aim assist. So far, what I can gather is that there actually is zero aim assist in this game. I mean, I would turn the mouse acceleration off if I was using a mouse! So, what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo, USDG. I want you to start by checking Rafiq, the arcade appreciate it, guys. downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there. You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. Goodbye. Briggs? No, that's Riggs, chat. Not a lethal weapon reference. I gotta go downstairs again? Oh, the garage. Oh, wow. Are we actually gonna get open world stuff? Is this an open world game? Sure. Might be like open zones. Most likely like Terminator. Yeah. Favorite Robocop? I mean, obviously the first one, man. I liked three when I was a kid, but that's because it was made for kids. Even I remember the Robocop TV show being boring as shit. You came clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it up all to the ground. Dang. This looks kind of cool. How long is this demo? That's a good question. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, 
or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect Nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. That was easy. Scanning material. It is a phone. Phone is out of order. Oh, good. Nice shiny armor, officer. Want to be my knight? Yes, ma'am. Now, goodbye. I need to look for a payphone? <laughs> and she takes off her top and says, Hey. This is a private conversation, pig. Man, she seems weird. Phone! What? Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do! I do want to earn money! But wait! Your voice... You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! <laughs> you want to bust me? Fucking Why Robocop! Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... Fucking Robocop! What the fuck? Fuck is it this time? Anybody <laughs> home? Don't hide, Maurice. Just a friendly visit. You'd like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me. The back of the red building by the supermarket, apartment six. There's some guys here. I think they mean business. Hurry. He's on the phone. <laughs> I'm already invested. <laughs> I'm invested. <gasps> Fucking Robocop! <laughs> Shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed. Welcome back. Grim. To the stage of Helpful. Welcome back to the stage of history. Psychoactive substance. Drink it up. Damaged phone. Good to know. Anything missing in here? So it wouldn't mind you stealing new from those morons if he got his cut. He gave you the last chance to pay him off, but you screwed it. Now it's too late. You better change your address. I can assure you that your excuses won't work with the torch heads. They're crazy. Maurice's laundry schedule. 
Incriminating evidence. Okay. Uh, where do these footprints go? Scan line mode. Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice! Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Damn, I'm getting an economics class from these guys. For a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. <laughs> Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> it's just going to now blow all of your heads off. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Shit, man. Why did you do that? What am I going to sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk. Or I'll jump. Even if you escape, so does out to get you. You will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man. I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. He's decided to cooperate. And he seems very enthusiastic. That was a side quest. That was a side that was completely optional. And it was kind of funny. I appreciate it. They had some fun with this game. I like the jank of this. That almost gives it. Oh, crap. It almost gives it charm. Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey, this shit is rigged. That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Christopher Walken, get back here. You join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? Welcome back to the stage of history. 
We've got some interesting hair in Detroit. Douchebag. Techno warrior. Where's the jungle jive machine? Is the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down and... Where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. Future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. <laughs> Did not make connection with degenerate teenager. Begin sulking mode. Expelled gastric content. Yikes. I'm gonna scan this large man or tiny child. Slouching detected irrelevant to the case. <laughs> nice. Come back with a warrant, cop. You need Robocop Vision to investigate. Uh, who did that? Yo, Griffith, thanks for the 1995, dude. Where's my markers telling me where to go? Scanning child. Bloodshot eyes caused by sleep deprivation irrelevant to the case. Look into his eyes. This target keeps moving. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you want me to scan, game? <laughs> it's fucking target. Uh, area of investigation. So is there something around here? That's a spoker. Scan line mode discovers nothing. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it. There's something around here. That ain't it. Now this is scan mode chat. It's the one with the lines. The swing of traces of hinge lubricant irrelevant to the case. Oh God, dude, it, this button was not doing that before. Uh, this is R3. Huh. This is really... This is really helping. Oh! This actually is a jungle jive machine. Come back with a warrant, cop! Yeah, this is night vision. Yeah. This is night vision. This is the scan. I just turned it on. Can you guys not see it? Scanning pizza material.
Recently, your men started to act, shall we say, unusually. They're questioning each other about what has to be a torch head. They're looking for a snitch, but there can't be one such as your thoughtful, your humble partner. Means to arrest. Run of the mill chips. Yeah, it's got Robocop doing police work, right? Instead of just blasting fools. Scanning human material. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! <laughs> Is that the ocean? Completely normal day. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. No chance! That is one squishy punk. I need more one-liners from Robocop, man. Survive that? Uh, okay. I'm looking for things to pick up. Why did the chair explode? What? Uh, what? Chair exploded. Anybody else see that? Never mind. There's some monitors in here. Open the door or you will regret it. Can't can a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo. Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant. And don't you dare open that door. I'll shoot you. Have it your way. <laughs> Have it your way. It's almost like Robocop by way of a Bethesda game. Damn. Is this this motherfucker's gray matter on the wall? Jesus. Oh, 
there's there's like a lot of like beat cop stuff you have to do. It's kind of crazy, right? I wasn't really expecting this. Investigate ghost house. It's $2,300 armored gate. There's a safe code. Deduction level two required. Engineering level six. I can't smash it. Crap. Deduction level. So I can't even open that safe because I need uh, RPG stats. I'm too dumb at the moment. Or in general, for that matter. Welcome back to the stage of history. Yo, Sleepy Peepy, -pee, thank you. Joan Cusack? Issuing tickets? As a cop, you can issue tickets for misdemeanors, public drinking, and disorderly conduct. Uh-huh. Someone arrest you. knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. Wow. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time, is to learn how not to lose their money. Wow. <laughs> wow, I can give people parking tickets. Again, he's a beat cop, dude. He's a beat cop that blows people's heads off. Immersion. That's the uh, stolen vehicle, okay. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name, but I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Welcome back to the stage of history. <laughs> you have not been harassed yet. I can come back with a warrant. But then I will not be knocking. You think that's going to scare me? This is Detroit, for God's sake. People try to threaten me nearly every day. I do not try. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. Damn it, can't read. Too stupid. Still too stupid? Still too stupid. <laughs> this 
Scanning is just Robocop looking at this shit real hard. Ah! Did it again. Ben, I'm off tomorrow. Can't wait. I think Scott is at it again. And it's in a locker. In the locker. There's a skill tree, See, yeah. I told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, Welcome but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. Variety of car theft tools. Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This Literally, morning, yeah, it's Fallout by way of RoboCop, right? That we were saying it's very Bethesda game-like. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back. It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. That is all for now. Hey, make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid. And he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. Like hell he will, robot cop. Just begins unloading. You have a skill point? I don't think I can do anything with it. Oh, I thought I had to be on the bench to do this. Uh... Yeah. yeah. This is a big demo. What about those lips? Facial animations are always going to be a thing and that are going to be low budget in games. I mean, if we're going to go by how faces animate, then Bloodborne is the worst game ever. Scanning man. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben.
Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit, it was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is gonna save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anybody home? Where are you, scout boy? Oh shit, it's the metal pick. Blast him. I'm waiting. I wonder if there's a way to be passive RoboCop, right? I can, like, negotiate with all these people. You did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. You're able to arrest the guy from the arcade instead of killing him? Cool. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was Yo, well, right bro. from the start. Thank you. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. I am the backup. Time for Co Robocop 2. Slowly walk 50 meters to the location. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. Screw you, man! Come back here, you troubled individual. Oh, wow, I can actually pursue him. I can't pull out my gun, chat. Man, Robocop's petty as fuck. So what, what, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. D just I'm let just me off with a warning, will 34 you? 34-year-old child. Welcome back to the stage of history. You are being fined $100 for the violation that you have committed. Are you crazy? I, I don't work. How am I supposed to pay for this? Failing to pay may result in serious consequences for your guardians. You made an enemy out of the graffiti artist. That's an uncool move you pulled right here. I'll make sure everyone in the hood knows your score. <laughs> All right. It also wasn't very good. You made an enemy of the graffiti artist. Yeah, a hundred bucks in like the mid eighties is like six thousand dollars now. 
especially over the past like few months. Yeah, no, there's obviously a shit ton of replayability because of the, you know, your choices of being a robot cop. Right, the footprints are going over here. Into the wall. Can I open the wall? We gotta find, like, a switch. There it is. <laughs> SMG Tech? Cute. What the hell is this? Some World War II gun? <laughs> is this an STG 44 or some shit? What the hell am I looking at? Ooh, okay, never mind. I'll shut up. Ah, don't shoot the things that I am. Who's shooting me? Damn. God damn. Finally, some friggin' music. Yeah, I thought this was going to be kind of arcade-like, you know? I thought it was going to be like... Some crazy mechanical... You know... Gimmick. With the shooting or something like that. But the shooting's pretty, like, straightforward. And not like a rail shooter, no. Like they were going to do something with the, uh, like a very arcadey kind of mechanic. Th this is more coming across as like, yeah, like a Robocop simulator by the way of Bethesda. Especially with how all these RPG things are in the world, you know? Come back here when your engineering's level up. Decipher this when this thing's leveled up. Right. Get more vitality points to come back here to do this. It ha and it has like the weird jank of like Bethesda RPGs and shit like that. It feels that way. I, do I was not thinking it was going to be that. I really wasn't. I feel like maybe I wanted it to be the other way because naturally like this kind of... Um, this kind of game isn't usually something I particularly like right it's not doesn't mean it's it's bad but they're kind of making this like robocop sort of like bethesda rpg out of this is it sponsored no no it's not i just wanted to check this out does it mean i'll play starfield i think it means i won't play starfield what i'm trying to say is i actually don't like that stuff very much this is um this is a bit more tolerable for me because at least it's like robocop to a certain degree. I can't believe you've actually done it. Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please. I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter, 
Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! I'm- I'm kind of blown away by how big this game feels just by the demo. Is what I'm trying to say. It feels very big. It's got some performance things, but it's not the end of the world. More in a time of watching old people lose their teeth on nursing them than playing Starfield. Well, I mean, to be honest, I feel the exact same way about Starfield as I felt, as I feel about um, Skyrim, as I feel about all the Fallout games. People really love that shit, and I'm j I just like, man, I don't get it. I do not get it. You need to be taught some manners. There's the one-liners. Oh god, this thing hurts a lot. My targeting system isn't hitting this guy. Is this a step up from the Terminator game? Yeah, I don't know if the Terminator game was like this, especially. I don't know. I saw a lot of like collectibles and things like that in the Terminator game. I heard the Terminator game was pretty solid, yeah. Oh my. An M60? Damn. I don't need the chair. Specifically. God, COD 4 M60 was something else, dude. Engineering level six? Damn. I'd have had to drop all my points in engineering so far. Uh, some of your guns. Had one bullet left on that. Cool. I blasted that guy's legs off. Whoa. Place is stacked with people. A slow mo means it's over. Incriminating pictures.
Yeah, you know what, exactly. I thought it was going to be more like RE4 level-based kind of thing, right? It isn't. Like a freaking Bethesda game. Are you the police? This is attached to his nipples. Do you know where I can find soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians to assist the police in capturing wanted fugitives. Well said. Uh, what can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks <laughs> cool. attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself, but that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, Smokey, thank get you. out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one I'm time, not interested. I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know. But it turned out to be groceries. Didn't ask. He's just still talking. Look at him go. So you are an opportunist. I have like ESP or some shit. This guy's a ghost. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. This guy just like shrink? <laughs> Did you turn into a child? Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is. I'm not the one running around gangsters paradise dressed in blue. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now... I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. I have more urgent matters on hand. Meet me later at Briggs' place. Yeah, you gotta save the city. That's fine by me. I'll see you later. Chillax in the 80s? Huh?
So this is all technically side stuff, right? Or are no, that was a soot related mission. I'm fairly sure. Actually, it's kind of hard to tell. No, 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 that was them wanting me to, to do the car thing and following up on the car thing. Yeah, the soot mission is the main one. I think. River littering trend? Jesus. The end of the main quest and the prototype. Thank you for playing. You can still explore the city and complete side quests. Damn, man, that's a big demo. Um, you know what? You know what I'm glad? I'm glad I played this to at least kind of show it off because I think it's pretty awesome, right? I think this is pretty awesome. What it isn't is a, is a game for me, you know? I think these style of games, like these Bethesda style games, whether or not it's like Fallout or like Skyrim or anything like that, they're just really not my kind of games. But I see why they would take this approach and make like an explorable, collectible stat management RPG out of Robocop. It's way, way more than I thought this little double A was going to be. And I thought they were going to turn it into something that was like action focused, like a really action oriented thing. But I'm like, dude, I'm a beat cop doing beat cop stuff. This is weird. I'm, I was not ready for it to be this. Like I'm taking questions and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like Fallout Cop without obviously like huge environments, but at least a big city. You know, they, they went full on RPG with this shit. I think the Terminator game is a bit closer to what I was thinking this was going to be, right? I think I think that is a bit more focused on like level based approach with like, you know, here's all this equipment and gear and blow up some bots and that kind of stuff. This definitely comes across as like, yeah, you get to role play Robocop. I think it's a tough thing to ask for me to like dedicate to any game right now because there's just so many things I do want to play that I'm that I'm essentially backburnered on already, right? And Spider-Man's about to come out and you know, Spider-Man was amazing on PlayStation PlayStation 4.